So what's up, everybody? It's your boy, boy, Bar Bar Cannabis All Star, doing what he do, checking in on the ones and two, sliding by, saying hi. It's Cannabis 3.0 on the go. Let's roll. Ooh, Chucky, come on, man. This uh, man, this graveyard stuff a little more complicated than what I thought. So at first I was just going to work like oh, like just dog ear tired. Now I just, I can make it through the night. That ain't no problem. But now it seems like when I wake up, I'm just like, uh, like I'm never one to be like, pull the blankets back over my head. I ain't never that dude. But today I was so close, bro. I was so close. I was so close. I'm about to go back to sleep. I just laid there for an extra, like, I maybe like 10, 15 minutes max. I was like, oh shit, let me get up. And I just been on, I just, it's the, the fucking engine just don't want to fire up, bro. I, I've tried to prime this SOB. I've tried to like, let it push it down the hill and pop the clutch. Like it just, man, it just don't want to go. I've, I've sang songs to the engine. I've tried to cuckoo that son of a bitch. It just the whole like you know how you get up and you're like alright I'm out let's go like that motherfucking push to start man the battery dead or something it just don't want to go it's like that car to go and you're like fuck I gotta go bro you gotta go shit I know this ain't happening right now bro this can't be going down right now no 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 Damn, man, I done messed up, man. I done killed the battery, bro. I don't know what I'm finna do. I gotta get this thing started. I got, so I got places to be, things to do. Trying to keep that battery charged up, bro. Man, tired as a gay sailor in a new port in this thing, man. And it seemed like as soon as I like start, like, all right, I got this. All right, I got this. I spent hella time. You know, they look, oh, you be scrolling on your phone on the toilet bowl. I just was staring at the goddamn wall. Like, I don't even know why I was, I don't even know what I was thinking about. Just staring at the wall. Like, I need to get up. Like, I know it's something I need to do. Like, all right. Man, this how my day went. I was like, damn, I need to get this printer cord. Where's that shit at? I looked all around the new trap for this goddamn printer cord. Just to be like two hours later. Like, man, I'm going to have to go buy another printer cord. Just to see that the printer core was already plugged into the back of the printer. I just couldn't do nothing but just rub my eyebrows, bro. Just like, oh man, you got to do better than this. My one associate, he was like, oh, it takes months, man, for you to adjust to a graveyard shift. You won't know your head from your asshole on some days. You don't know if you're going or coming. You will have no clue. You right? You right as hell. Cause I, I literally like I, I paid bills. That's that's what I did today. Like I just paid bills. Just what I did. That's that's. It's like I got enough time to do responsible shit and like even going to the store. It's like what I need to get from the store again. Hold on, let me go back down this aisle. I, I'm telling you, I I feel like an NPC with a glitch in the game, man. But, you know, it's better than what it was at work, though. Like, I was at work like, oh, Jesus. Now I can bang out work like it ain't shit. But coming home, like, I'm like, oh, oh. But, you know, that's enough for me, you know, fussing and complaining. I ain't really complaining. I'm just like, dog, this is where we at. Like, I'm over here trying to get this thing to go, and it just will not go. And then if you fuck around, you go, all right, man, I'm going to wake up early. Then you're going to be dog-ass tired. I ain't trying to just run around. Like right now, we hover around anywhere from like four to six hours of sleep a day. Did you hear that? They said you get four to six hours of sleep a day, and you wonder why you, your engine went, man, you stop. I'm like, this is where we at, though. This is where we're at. This is what you got to work with. Um, so I don't know how y'all was raised, but back in the day, we used to be able to go to the store with a note from our parents. And go buy like a, a pack of cigarettes, if not a bottle of brandy. I'm just saying. And you know that was that one movie where the dude was like, uh, his mama was like, uh, yeah, go to the store. And he like, man, mama, that's short. And mama was like, make it work. And that's where we at, man. I'm trying to make all this shit work. The one homie was like, you gonna do a live? I was like, bro, oh, man. 
I got chores to do and I don't know if I got enough time. I'll probably hit you with a preload or some shit like that. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good thing. Um, most of the seed, all the new seeds are doing great. The pink snowman was kind of being a little weird, but I almost forgot that motherfucker was over there by not having the tag in the right spot. But that's a operator error, not genetic errors. Now, as far as that uh, blue apricot sherbet, remember I was like, oh, I think I, yeah, that, that was me willing. Like, how you be willing to win the lotto? Like, you just be looking at your lotto card, like, oh, this is the winner right here. Or you be looking at that broad, you finna be fucking like, oh, yeah, she the one right there. Um, keep on willing that shit if you want to. That shit ain't right. I looked at the seeds today and was like, Come on, somebody should be out and about, bro. Out and about. What's the route up in this thing? Nope, nothing. Like, man, I got it on a heating pad. Nope, nothing. So this is like day four and day two. Yeah, you got day four on the shit that was already in there. Day two on the shit that I put in like day before yesterday. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody is talking to me. Ain't none of them got nothing to say to your boy. They like, yep, we sitting up in here. They got they got cute little bubbles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitches is drinking mimosas on the beach. These hoes is not trying to come out these seed pots for nothing. Chucky for nothing. The homie was like, what you gonna do? Then the one bro was like, hey, bro, did you know that pack that you got is probably like worth about down there almost 10 grand? Oh, you full of shit. He was like, no, for real, whatever gods in the game that love your fucking big forehead. If you look at that, I'll, I'll usually send me the link to the auction. One of the auctions started off at 20, was it 2.4K? And the one that had like the 20 packs, that big shit, uh, that shit started off at 5.5K. Man, I got that shit in this son. I was like, damn, bro, no pressure. <laughs> then he was like, yeah, I'm thinking about fucking with, but I ain't trying to fuck with their germination ratio. Well, let me explain to you. The compound regular seeds, bro, old as fuck, bro. Them motherfuckers, they, oh, they got me over here about to start whittling on them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, whittling on the side. Like, I'm scratch this bitch, I'm scratch this bitch. You got scar, we got scarification, stratification. Zat was the stratification, nigga, make Jesse, you making up words. Stratification. Oh, boy, you can't even spell that. You can't even spell it. Stop making shit up. Nigga, stick to the script. I told you this engine, even when it's starting, that motherfucker be backfiring like, yeah, you know, you got to work something out. I got to get the, got to get the temperatures up. <laughs> yeah, so them seeds, they expensive as fuck, and I'm just like, God damn. So the, the regular seeds is older, so they more rare, and they're more valuable. These hoes just don't want to go, bro. They just don't want to go. Like, what you gonna do? Well, Leroy, what we gonna do is I, I got the water all put together and took that, I took that nine ounces of that clear aquawaga. I done put that old 10 grams of that hydro pradio exoride. And then I took that one good solid of that good gram of that good crystally, crystally CNH sugar. I don't know if it's a beet sugar. I just know it's some sugar. And that thing said one gram of that sugar. So we put some sugar to it. How's that shit going to work, man? I don't know, bro. I'm like, man, this is bullshit. Go fuck around, make me spray some fem spray. That's a lie. That's a lie. Motherfucker talking about, oh, permanent marker, strain of the year. I was like, how? That shit is trash, nigga. The fuck? You trying to tell me out of all the strains, ha, 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 permanent marker is the one. No, that syndication. There we go. Syndication. Remember, I was trying to figure that shit out. Aha, yeah, that motherfucker. Hey, that motherfucking engine running kind of good right now. Hit with this syndication, boy. That means the syndicates. Not that syndic the syndication. That means it's like the media, like the news, the magazine people. That digital media. Yeah, yeah, a little playfulness right now. They buying that shit, nigga. You might as well go buy a check. 
I ain't seen shit from Seed Junkie, a permanent marker that'll make me go, oh, damn, I gotta have that. You trying to tell me that uh, Seed Junkie's permanent marker is better than fucking Gastro Pop or Apples and Bananas? The fuck out of here. Hey, man, don't be mad at me. I'm just calling like I see it. You know, these motherfuckers be paying. They pay to play. I know, I be tricking hard, nigga. Why buy the pussy when I can buy the trick off the tokens in the video game? Yeah, I be tricking hard on Fortnite, boy. Tricking if you got it. Nigga, I got the weekend skin. I got all the good shit. I got the tracks in that thing. Ah, bitch. I got Grampus. Yeah, boy. I got the little Fortnite racing car. I got that good shit. It's tricking. I'm sidetracked. It's good, though. I was saying something out of pocket. Oh, yeah. It was kind of permanent murder. I just don't see it. I just, I just, they just paid to play, to like get that out there. They're like, oh, we're the shit. I'm like, okay, all right. Yeah. So you trying to tell me your permanent marker better than Leo Stone's whatever. You just trying to tell, you trying to tell me Sea Junkie is better than Aficionado. That's a negative. That's a negative. Leo Stone got way more fucking awards than some goddamn Sea Junkie. Stop playing. Now, what Sea Junkie got that better than Aficionado? It that good old attraction of the hype train. Hype, hype train, train. Hype train, hype train. Hype, hype. Hype, hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they more paying to play, you know what I'm saying? Like Sea Junkie. So, but as far as like they got the. Nah, I'm not hearing any of that shit. Well, you don't know until you grow it. Well, that bitch got to get in line with everybody else now. How about that? Right now, to me, the hottest shit that's, that's in the bucket. Here, here, here. I'm going to tell you what I feel. Just me. Here's what I feel the hottest strains are. This is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. What I feel like, nigga, the hot spot, like the hot strains. Like I feel like, ah, nigga, you ain't got that in your garden. You ain't seen that shit. Is the following. Gastro Pop, La Bamba, Total Eclipse, 24K, Tiger's Eye, <coughs> Double Up. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> that should be some strains of the year type shit, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, come on. Keep it real. Like, be like, and if you're not finna give it to Compound, you gotta give it to Copycat. Yeah, I said that, bitch. Yeah, 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 I said that. I meant that. I stand on that. Yeah, 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 I said that. I said that. Remember, it go, it's Cookies, Compound, Copycat, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, so before I even say anything about Sea Junkie, I'm going Copycat. Right off back. Now, as a segue, since we said copycat, shout out copycat gang, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the East Coast, see Mafia and this bitch doing what they doing up here. Always making sure everything is uh, proper. They make sure you get a proper drop. Man, look, let me explain something. Whoever this, uh, uh, how do you like, I don't know, these niggas be like trying to use my shit and like talk crazy. Like, let me clear something up real quick. I support Chronic Grows because he fuck with copycat. Let's just keep that clear. So when you talk shit about chronic, you talk shit about copy, and that's why I be like, why are you why are you playing with the game? Like why we gotta be disrespectful, why we gotta be rude, like what like where is this going to? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like I would appreciate y'all back the fuck up. Or I'm gonna have to act the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I've been itching just to act up. Just just to act up, all right? So all the homies would be like Oh, natural plant killers and, and Uncle Spunk and all this other shit. We talking da, 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 da. I don't care, bro. Nobody over there got any type of plants, any type of genetic, any type of skills or got anything going on that I feel is impertinent about my success. And when y'all send me these links and motherfuckers making videos, I just say thank you. Because now the videos that they're using, I look hella sexy in them. So when they be like, oh, the SOG loves them, I'm going to be like, wow, but okay, and thank you for making me look cute. But at the end cap, like, 
bitch, I'm not going nowhere. So, like, if you don't mind, can you put, like, a better filter on that bitch? I see a couple of blemishes. I'm going to need you to tighten that up for me. And I'm going to need you to actually, like, do real videos. Like, this whole ass short shit, and you're not committing to the, you're not committing to the hatred. Like, I need you to, like, don't fence right and be, like, a committed hater. And if you're going to hate on chronic, like, that's between y'all because I really don't know why y'all don't like this dude, you know what I'm saying, like, that ain't none of my business, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I don't play any of that bullshit, I play, let's fuck these hoes and get this bag, I play that every day, bro, I play it every day, all day long, like, nigga, that's my MO, get this bag, fuck these bitches, like, well, well what about the kids, man, look, I get the bag and take care of the kids, like, I gotta fuck these bitches, these kids gotta be all stressed out, these niggas be asking for, man, my partner today, he was like, let me help you with the cooking, I turned around, he poured the whole bottle of hot sauce in the chicken noodle soup and then looked at me with that smile like, ah, like ratatouille and shit. I was just like, I just, I love you, boy. Here, let me show you how to soften this up. We're gonna need a whole nother can. Now tighten it up. You, you did good, but you ain't, you're gonna be mad because it's gonna be too Pisces. He tastes that shit. He's like, yeah, it's Pisces. I said, yeah, yeah, gotta tone that up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Bring that back. So yeah, that's what I be into. These cats over here, and they don't they don't look healthy, they not in shape, they not getting their money. You know what I'm saying? Like they grows is like real suspect. Like, come on, bruh. We gotta do better than that. Like, I don't know. It's like sitting down talking to a dolphin. You know what type of conversation you gonna get? Like, don't act like you don't know. I mean, some of them be kind of funny, they be kind of, okay, I take that back. I take that back. I'm not finna get in the middle of whatever Chronic got going on with whoever the fuck he funking with. Cause that motherfucker be making some hella crazy memes and shit about uh who is that a uh, Honky Kong or Honky Donkey, whatever the fuck his little Caucasian wish he was a nigga type situation got going on over there. I like it when I love white on white crime. And I love white on white hate. I love to watch it. I do. I do. So when I see all these white dudes and shit, like, talking to evil and being mean to each other, I have to be looking over at them and be like, so that's what they be saying niggas be doing, huh? Oh, I've never seen this. So it's like universal. Yo, okay, so what they got in common? All them niggas is broke, bro. Them niggas got too much time on their hands. Like, they got how much time for a fucking, they talk shit about each other? I ain't got no, let me see. My nigga got two hours over here. He got like three hours over here. His six motherfuckers talking shit over here. So they sit down like a bunch of bitches every motherfucking week. So you got to, okay, that's cool. They're going to be consistent. So you can basically expect a year's worth of advertising. You know what I'm saying? A 52, yeah, 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 52 genuine times out the year. Motherfuckers is going to talk shit about you. So that's advertising. Yeah, don't be mad at that. I ain't be upset about that. You know how much it costs to get a year's worth of advertising for free on the internet? Huh. Now that I think about it, shit. Y'all keep that up. They still a bunch of hoes. They ain't finna do nothing. Would I be violent with them? Oh, yeah, I'd slap the dog shit out of them and be like, so now what's gonna happen is we know you gonna run and call the police, so let's go go handle it. <laughs> Man, you slap them and be like, yeah, you ain't supposed to be slapping nobody, not unless you got the two following things on standby. If you got your bail money for the crime you about to commit and you got your money for the attorney for the crime you about to commit, by all means, commit to the situation. Nah, bro, I seen a big nigga back in the day. That nigga walked up on, he put a bag. He put a bag on, I said, damn, nigga put a bag on the table. That's a real bag on the table. He said, nigga, I'm about to shoot you. I know you finna call the police, so I got my bail money and my attorney money right here. That nigga pulled the piss box, shot him in the stomach. <laughs> and what happened? Police came, got his ass. And he did exactly what he said he was gonna do. I was like, damn. Damn, everybody won't play until they said to the next person play their hand against what you playing with. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So that's why I be looking at these little cats on the internet. They don't know what they be playing with. The homie showed me a video today. He said it perfectly to you. Like, bro, you don't know what this nigga used to be. This motherfucker could have been a serial killer. 
just decided to quit and change his life and get off the bullshit and now you playing with him. You don't know what the fuck gonna make that nigga snap. Yeah, yeah, but y'all always want to play until somebody want to play with you. Yeah, you can tell motherfuckers uh, one thing, but you can't tell them how to play. Especially if you playing with them. And that go down to, uh, like, all the way down to little kids. You know, I, I, that's the shit that hit me. I was like, yeah, little kids like to play and play rough and play tough and all this other shit. So another kid start playing rough and playing tough with them. And you kids don't know how the kids going to play with each other. Especially with mine. I'll be looking at mine when they be fucking with other ones and other ones be fucking with them. I'll just be like, ooh, it's going to be good. We're going to see how this going to act. And you don't know how somebody going to play. <coughs> and that's why I find it hilarious. Like, <coughs> these niggas must think <coughs> I'm soft as fuck. <coughs> I'll be like, bro, <coughs> y'all niggas did any homework. He like to leave this nigga alone. <laughs> What's he do? He go to work and smoke weed? Yeah, good. Y'all really want this nigga out of retirement? Now we want him off the streets. Who gonna, who gonna crash out on him? You? You gonna crash out on this nigga? Oh, okay. No, niggas don't want me to crash them. Yeah, you gonna crash. Nigga running into me is like uh, how that, uh, uh, <laughs> that, how that cyber truck ran into that wall at 144. Yeah, it didn't make it. It didn't, it, don't, it didn't make it at all. So I would hope that you know catch this. Go man, go and whoop some niggas with success. Be productive. Y'all don't like me talk shit while you, you know what I'm saying, cutting some clones or uh, reading a business plan or some shit. Like all that. I don't like him. He's a sex offender. So what, nigga? I'm still fucking bitches getting money. Like you're getting outplayed by a sex offender. What the fuck does that say about you? Yeah, that pause was on purpose. You're getting outplayed by a sex offender, nigga. How, how, how are you coping with this? No, year in and year out, he's just bashing you haters across the head with success. How are you coping with this? I mean, you guys are so quick to say it, but you have to, he's kicking your ass, though. He's making way better moves, being way more responsible, being way on top of the ball more than you are. How are you getting yourself played like this? Like, how does that really, really make you feel that a sex offender convicted felon is being more successful than you are? How does that make you feel? You guys literally spend hours talking about a sex offender who has better genetics than your whole entire squad put together and none of y'all want to crash out for success. Like, how does that make you feel? Like, this dude over here smokes weed non-stop. Y'all niggas is like hardly and barely smoking. Definitely not smoking consistently. Y'all niggas definitely not pulling out bags of weed. Cutest shit that I saw, the homie showed me a video of that weird ass white dude, uh, uh, Honky Dong, Donkey Honky, Honky Dong, whatever. Honky Kong? Yeah, Honky Kong. There you go. That boy, he trying to live the young life. That nigga got him an LED chair with a gamer. I'm like, all right, no problem. I'm like, ain't you a little old for that? Ain't your eyes off? I know my eyes just get as bad as I get older. I know your eyes is fucked up. <laughs> I know they gotta be. But you know, that's neither here nor there. Just I sometimes I just want to stop and be like, so like, this dude's over here doing competitions, giving out the, the, the hustle and the grind, and you guys are still getting outplayed. Like, how does that make you feel? I mean, the facts is on the table. The facts is on the table. The facts is literally on the table right now. Long time ago, man, I learned that like talking shit only works as fuel to the grind. They could talk shit about the tent tournament too. You just don't have to get in it. Oh, me, I'm about to smoke another blunt, bro. Okay, so when you hear me complain, bro, it's like, God damn, bro, I'm tired of shit. This great guy kicking my ass. <laughs> right? That's what I am. Y'all hear me complain. Oh, such and such as this and such and such as that. Man, I'm trying to make amends with all these folks who say they don't like me for whatever reason. For whatever reason. How can I amend this shit? How can I atone it, nigga? How can I make it right? Like, what, what we got to do? You want to go to lunch, nigga? You want to go to Disneyland? Like, what you need, bro? Talk to me. I'll talk back. 
Don't no one got nothing to say. And then when the homies get to, <laughs> then when the homie come up with like their real personal information and be like, okay, so this is what's really what's up. Then niggas, oh, oh, yeah, it just, I did it just for fun though. And the homie was like, what's up with them packs of seeds? I was like, oh, I got you. I got you. How many you got? You got three. Here you go. Have at it, nigga. Have at it. Local dude, too, had me cracking up. I was like, what a small world, Chucky. What a small world. Now, what I would like to do is uh, figure out what fucking mail we're going to use now. And uh, even though we got the... <laughs> hey, we on some... Uh, my partner was like, bro, you on some, on some, on some white people shit. Like, what is you talking about, bro? Man, you fucking using magnets and shit. You got a cauldron or something. I was like, bro, I think you got two cultures confused. I mean, like, so the witches is kind of like Wiccans and things of that nature. And then you have like this thing called science, motherfucker, which is we talking about magnets. I was like, I think you got that confused. He was like, both ran by white people. I was just like, you stupid as fuck. You stupid as fuck. But I was had trying to explain to him. I was like, look. I don't know if this seed shit gonna even work. Meanwhile, I got the other homies like, I got my magnet. I was like, fuck you, asshole. I won't get mine until Friday. It's something new. We don't know if the shit gonna work. I mean, I got another video. Hopefully, when I get some time to go live, because I like this other little style of live that I'm doing. Um, and my partner's like, you ever gonna do a panel? I was like, for what? Dude, wait, panel? What? What the fuck we get about? I mean, we could. But then they'd be like, oh, you bite my sauce. I ain't even think, uh, no. And, you know, I don't know if I play well with people. I just, you know, that's my major concern. Like, you've been there fucked around. and You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to watch me. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm a whip, nigga. I just say a wimp. I said a whip. I said I'm a work in progress, motherfucker. I'm whipping in this bitch. Whip it to the left. Hey, Whip it to the right edge. Whip up, whip down, whip it all around. Whip it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go to work. I need a vacation. Cool part is, uh, I got vacation time. I don't know if them haters got vacation time. That'd be the type of shit I'd be giggling about. I'd be like, I think that's like two, three hours right there. So, like, bro, he got too much time on his hands. They doing lives like that every day. Oh, you ain't got no job. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no 401k. You ain't got that good health insurance or life insurance. Like, oh, yeah, they tripping, bro. They tripping. You ain't got no life insurance. Like, nigga, if you get clapped off like right now. Oh, okay. So I learned something today fucking around on the Internet. was talking about uh, uh, the waterfall effect. I'm probably going to fuck this up. So don't be mad at me. But I learned that the uh, the Rockefeller family, with their family, each individual has a, a, a life insurance uh, policy. And that life insurance policy kind of goes back to the family trust. And their family trust, trust, excuse me, is like their family bank. But their family bank is now their family vault because the life insurance policies that they take out on their family members when they unfortunately pass away that money goes into those vaults but the rockefeller family is able to borrow against that money which is in-house borrowing to do the things that they need to do thus creating real sincere general uh sincere general generational i'm like general where's that coming from like nigga generational is the word to look for generational wealth so it's interesting for cats to say Oh, you know, they want to make generational wealth, but not really looking at ways on how to do that, which I just thought that was cool. Whether or not you can get your family members to fucking act right. Yeah, that's a whole different ball game. I, I just I just thought what I learned today was like cool. And when I learned cool shit, I like to share it with you. Yeah, man, I, I want the haters to be successful. Yeah, at the end cap. And it's pretty uh, selfish on uh, why I, uh, I, I need them to be successful. You want to know why? They need to keep up, man. You know, Superman go against Lex Luthor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to make sure my arch nemesis can, you know. You know, I got to keep them, keep, them, keep, them, keep them on level. Keep them on level, bro. Keep them on level. Now, where are we going to go from here? Man, I don't know. I have no clue. 
I'm just giggling because I got to go to work and I got to get in that mindset and I just, I'm like lightweight refusing. But I am appreciative. I'm appreciative for all the shit that I'm learning. And the homie told me right off the back, he was like, the termination ratio on that shit is trash. It's going to be a headache. I'm like, well, man, I would do the absolute best. Our next adventure is to use this magnet and its magnetic field to fuck with the ions in the sea as well as the ions in the water um, to help germinate some real complicated seeds. To which there is different heights on your magnet. Uh, okay, excuse me. There is a different height that is needed when you are dealing with a magnetic field and you are setting your subject matter inside of that field of magnetism. I think I said that right. The subject matter could just be whatever the matter that you're putting in there, and that's the subject, and that's the matter. My partial attempt of stoned intelligence. Now we gonna keep at it because there's really nothing else for me to do. I gotta. I can't move on into another project until uh. <laughs> until this other one gets started it's starting you know what I'm saying all the seeds that I got from fucking uh yeah all of the seeds that I got from North Atlantic Seed Company that are compound seeds all of that shit popped I'm happy with the experience in no form or fashion or way is this new round of uh, old school compound going to be held against compound in any form or fashion about the germination ratio they're not like their warranty on that shit has been you know what I'm saying like you know you know they have not been contacting me about my extended warranty program okay so long story short they're in the clear I'm quite happy with them actually I'm pissed these seeds don't pop though we gonna figure it out so hopefully we're able to use this magnetic field on this uh Man, this other dude showed me like a, a magnet person, like this dude from like a magnet company. Uh, he showed me a couple of them, which seeds to use, I mean, which uh, magnets to use. And I was like, I looked at the price of that shit. Nigga, them magnets is like $7, 7 or $8 or some shit like that. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to just buy some of those. Yeah, that's what I think I'm about to do. I think, yeah, this is one of late night hustle hours brought to you by Natty McBarbar, nigga, Cannabis Trap Star. I think I'm probably going to end up getting my hands on a bunch of these fucking, uh, you know what I'm talking about, magnets. Because the dude is the, the, the owner of the company. Because he was like, man, I asked why you're so specific about this. I was like, yeah, because I'm about to do a, a seed germination experiment with my class. He don't know the class is us, but you know, but we we all on the same page. Meanwhile, I done bought this big ass fucking break your finger type shit. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh yeah, you just need this little small one. I was like, wait a minute, that's like the size of a uh, silver dollar. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Will it work? I don't know, bro. But you've been done fucked around and bought some seeds and get your. Uh, Get you a seed germination kit, nigga, with your little magnet in there, your little shot glass. Fuck around, gonna sell that shit about 20 bucks, bro. That's what I'm really up to. Y'all ain't figured this fucking bullshit out. I'm like, okay. So I need to sell these niggas a thing, a bottle of water. 10 grams of hydrogen peroxide. One gram of sugar a magnet and a shot glass and a little tray. Alright, I'm on it. Oh, what was that? That was the smoke clearing. Because all the haters just I just picked up all the haters and did them like Zangief and picked them up and just spun around and just pile drive. Kaboom. Yeah, bro, if you ain't whooping niggas with success, you ain't hurt. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. And yeah, you can go try to go do that shit right now, but if you don't have the uh, the current data to back it and support it, they know I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, I'll get there. We gonna get there. 
He was like, you just need to buy this one. You need to buy that one. I'm like, all right, now I'm going to buy it just so I can get the information off of him. Do the hustle. Boom, 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 ba dum ba do do dum boom do do ba do go do 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 We had a cannabis seed game fucked up here in a minute. What? Welcome here, Magnet. Uh huh. Then probably gonna copy and paste all this shit in the chat GPT and say, hey man, take the word P out and put fucking hemp seed or put cannabis seed and just let him do his thing, bro. On here's my saying the day to day. <laughs> Shut up. Look, man, look, look. Don't you judge me, bitch. Don't you judge me. How dare you judge me? Okay, you can judge me. What you think? Sound fun, huh? If, bro, if we don't keep entertained, like, for real, you get you a direct from the breeder box, throw a fucking little baby fucking rolling tray in that bitch. Beside that rolling tray is a fucking, like, a shot glass and a couple of packets and a fucking little thing of bottled water. Or you might not even send a bottle of water to let you go. Just by here, you the only thing you're needing, just add water. And with the recommendation of this is the perfect size. Get some, Chucky. Come on, man. These niggas don't want no smoke. And then the genetics that we got, let's just hog. Then you got the crazy genetic. And I'm like, oh, yeah, these are fresh seeds. This fucking seed's gonna go nuts. Matter of fact, I think we should try it. Come here. You know, we be on some late night and shit, so this ain't this ain't for the day babies, you know what I'm saying? This is for the late night trappers, you know what I'm saying? Like early niggas on the East Coast are daytime than for niggas in a different country. So what's up with some uh gastro pop and uh green mamba? Call that shit two cap. Then we could take that two cap right now, nigga. Cross all that two cap with the uh, shit that we got going on. I'm just saying, bro. Or, or hey, hey, we could do the shit that's got the total eclipse, the total eclipse, which is the King Slayer and Gastro Pop times Green Mama, bro. I'm just saying, because we know those see all that would be like a great example. I know we're supposed to be doing the other shit, but that's why it's late night. It's late night. Cause they be like, man, what the fuck you was talking about? I mean, bro, you know it was late and tired going to work, you know, my my mind. Ah. Sounds sound zesty and spicy though, huh? This nigga said he got some two cap. What's that two cap? I don't know, probably gastro pop and green mamba. That nigga's like, oh my god, he's gone for it. Like, bro, you got that fucking Durban Runs time green mamba. That shit spectacularly purple. Then you got that other fucking big ass giant. The fuck is that thing like apple fritter thin mints gorilla cookies and it's a good fucking plan <laughs> but I just think that two cap would hit harder <clears throat> if you hit it with something yeah I think I'm probably gonna do that compound I don't know I don't know they got that la bamba you got that la mamba instead of la bamba it's la mamba ah I got him I already got to see him just just I don't know, I ain't got room for all that shit. And one homie was like, well, you know, you could just pay Farmer Johnson $15 and give him a clip and he'll tell you what you got. I'm like, shh. Just make me want to pop more seeds. I don't know, man. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I can't complain about shit. It's a, it's a good night. Um, I'm about to go get this good money. And if by chance you're trying to come out here in California and you're trying to work and pay some of them good taxes, man, come on, I can show you where to go. Oh no no! They got a little uh, they got a little trap spot right down the street from the job. So even if you ain't got no car, it just got you a little bit of bread, nigga. There's a little trap over there. You can go over there, go to work over there. I'm just saying. I know a lot of cats are like, oh, I want to do it. You gonna be doing the same shit you doing tomorrow, nigga. You gonna be doing the same shit you doing today. Gonna be day after tomorrow. But don't be mad. Just you know, just do you, bro. Be who you supposed to be and have fun. Don't be stressed out about that shit. Me, you heard me this I, early. I was like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Now that motherfucker running, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm finna have fun with this. I'm finna have fun with this. Anyway, let me go send a message to my partner. I know he's asleep, but uh, I'm gonna holla at you in a minute because I gotta chop this up when I have these good thoughts in my head. I need to push him forward. If not, you forget about him. And then you fuck. So y'all know what I'm about to do. I'm gonna holler at you. What type of style? Hey, 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 God, body style. Two.
Ain't too. Just gonna get good.